Lately I've been searching for the uh, excitement and thrill I had on my way out here from Oregon. When I first started the road trip, it was first getting used to traveling on in the Jeep wagon here, and camping out beside rivers and lakes, and checking out cool little towns like the one I'm in now. Unique little towns like the one I am now. I hate using the word cool. But uh, anyways, lately I've realized that I've become jaded just like anything else in life and that I'm not necessarily jaded but just that I'm not going to find that same thrill and joy that I found when I first set off and when I was first getting started that the trip's got to take a new new character now and I gotta I've, I've settled in and I understand a lot about traveling and what to expect and have a good idea of what's coming and in a sense I'm definitely ready to be on a sailboat and different mode of transportation and new environments but I'm still excited to be traveling back across the country and I'm I love to be in places like this next to creeks like this and towns like this and I think it's just my fault for trying to find that same thrill and enjoyment that I had when I first left and this has got to be the second chapter of the trip and a little bit more settled of a traveler and who knows start to realize deeper what goes on around me as I travel instead of so much of how I feel when I travel and notice how people look at me differently now and how I've changed in relation to the rest of the society that's what's on the mind folks beside the Littleton Furniture Mart then again, it is a cold gray morning and that never helps. Never ever helps. I am a different person, person, person. I've heard words said one too many ways, one too many different times to pronounce them correctly anymore, I think. I'm a different person when the sun's shining in the morning versus gray, wet, Cloudy skies. Ow, pow, pow. That's the emotion. Pow, pow, pow. Oh, the things I do for this little electronic device. They're just embarrassing. Time wasting foolishness. And you've got to watch all this. To see those snippets that are good. As I stroll around, don't say hood just cause it rhymes. You'll be fine if you leave it alone. In the Littleton area, senior center. Bow, bow, bow. Don't park in my spot, it's a $300 fine. You got it? Oh, you got it? Ah. Check out the naked old man riding the bicycle in Littleton. Huh? That'll make for a good video title. Naked old man rides bicycle in Littleton. Peace! No, uh uh. I could if you want. No. <laughs> I'm getting ready to take my own picture. Are you really? Yeah, in a minute. Taking her too? We'll see. Who knows? Someday she wants to be in it, someday she doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, she can do that. Yeah, she can do Yes. 
Back at another Walmart. Stupid Walmarts are everywhere across this country. You go to the smallest town in the world and they got a Walmart. Things have not been going my way today. Been driving all over, checking out different internet connection, internet, internet, internet connection. And have failed to upload a video after two days of trying. I was so excited to get up into the mountains and countries and rivers and I really do like being up here, but I can't find internet to save my life. Which means today I didn't get to upload a video for the YouTube channel. And it kind of makes me want to throw in the towel on making videos, to be honest with you. I uh, told myself I was going to make a happy video today, and now I'm complaining to the camera. I can't upload any videos. But the videos are good on many days. Most of the time the upload is no problem, and I do really enjoy sharing the trip with you all. And the sponsorship money has been great, and the sponsorship money is due to people finding about, about my travels on YouTube, and if I'm ever going to get a sailboat, i got to put some type of publicity out there. And just the sharing aspect of you people that have been following me from day one, or day two, or three, or fifty, I don't know, wherever. But whoever's been following me, just to be able to share it, kind of, I like being out here all by myself. I wouldn't want to have anybody else but Nora with me. But to be able to share with somebody on a daily basis what I'm going through, what, uh, what turns I'm taking, what states I'm checking out, what scenery I'm seeing, as best I can through this little black camera. It is worthwhile and I will continue to do it because I do find satisfaction in it for one, I don't know. Maybe I just like being out there, you know? One of those celebrity freaks. I want to be famous. I want to put myself on camera all day long. I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true at all. I think if I had it my way, I'd be all by myself out in the middle of the woods all day long reading good books. I don't know why I'd want good books. Because books connect you to people but it'd be an alright connection with me because I'd have some control over it I don't mind being connected with people obviously not I just had a nice conversation with the library as I shut down my computer and told her the connection wasn't going to work and talked about my travels and I do miss communities to some extent and going and seeing the same shop owners and going to dinner at the same place every couple Friday nights and Actually, I don't know if I missed that. I really like being on the road. The road is where it's at. And if the sun comes out, it's absolutely perfect. So, I'm going to stop wheeling around this little island where my car's parked for the night. And go get a Netflix movie and forget it all. Netflix, not Netflix, Netbox. Forget it all. That's my camera enthusiasm. He's a guy from Oregon in New Hampshire, traveling in a Chevy Venture. Probably shouldn't show you my license plate info, huh? One of you perverted viewers out there might be able to track me down. Probably shouldn't have said that either. But then again, I got Nora. She's got a nasty growl on anybody that tries to sneak up on me in the middle of the night. So. We'll conclude this segment of 100 laps around the Walmart Island. Until next time. I'm thinking of you. Wishing it was. I'm thinking of you. Wishing things weren't so blue. Got nothing. Shut the camera off, man. Shut it off.